Let's now just very briefly make a comparison between the structures of the low-pass and the high-pass filters. Here we have the low-pass filter where we saw, found that its transfer function was equal to H of S was equal to R over L over S plus R over L. And we went through and we determined that this, fun this value, R over L, was the cutoff frequency. Thus, we could rewrite this function as H of S is equal to the cutoff frequency divided by S plus the cutoff frequency. In the high-pass filter, we found that H of S was equal to S over S plus 1 over RC. And again, in this situation, we found that the cutoff frequency was equal to 1 over R times C. Thus, we could also write the transfer function as H of S was equal to S over S plus omega sub C. Now, it's helpful to look a little more closely at the structures of these circles, of these circuits, to understand from an intuitive level how the math relate or relate the math to the circuit. You'll notice that the transfer function for the low pass filter has no s in the numerator. Now from our understanding of transfer functions, we know that values of s that make the numerator go to zero are known as the zeros of the function. Thus this function has no no finite zeros. It never equals zero. At omega equals zero, if you will, remember we let s equal j omega, so at omega equals zero or s equals zero, this function is equal to one. And as omega gets larger and larger, it tends towards zero, but approaches zero as an asymptote. On the other hand, the high pass filter has an s in the numerator. The transfer function equals zero at s equals zero. There is a value of s in the numerator, a value of s that will cause the numerator to go to zero. So at omega equals zero, the transfer function equals zero. And as omega, or in this case we're writing it as s, as s gets larger and larger, this term here becomes less and less significant, and the function then approaches one. Looking at the, the, um, phase terms of both of these, we notice that they both tend to approach a constant value or approach a value as omega goes to infinity. The low pass filter started at zero because there was no phase term or the, the phase term of the numerator for the low pass filter had no, was, was zero. The phase of the numerator was zero for the low pass filter. On the other hand, the phase of the, um, of the, uh, numerator of the high pass filter's transfer function, the phase of that term was 90 degrees. Let me say that again. The phase of the numerator of the frequency response function for the high pass filter was, uh, 90. We then subtracted off the phase of the denominator. In both instances, the phase of the denominator were of the similar form. And as omega, or as s, got larger and larger, the arctangent of the denominator, or the phase of the denominator, got uh, closer and closer to um, 90 degrees. So here we started at 0 and we headed to 90. Here we started at 90 and headed towards 0.